So remember when I was talking about Activision and what Activision were going to, sorry, Microsoft's acquisition of Activision meant to the, to the gaming world. And I said, keep an eye out, guys. I reckon they're going to bring Guitar Hero back. Guess what, Nige? Well, well, we it looks like we're going to be able to rock on. Yeah, it is. So Xbox's Phil Spencer has just dropped some uh, major tea on the future of a classic um, Activision franchise. So uh, welcome back to the channel, folks. Uh, today we've got some exciting but cautious news from the gaming world. Xbox has officially acquired Activision Blizzard. But if you're hoping to see the revival of classics like Guitar Hero anytime soon, you might have to wait a bit. Phil Spencer, the man behind Xbox, has some interesting insights on how the classic franchise might make a comeback. So let's uh, let's, let's look at this. It can, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming back. They're selling plastic guitars. I, I I put money on it. It's just the question is when. I give it two years. Two years? It was like two years, and then we're going to have plastic guitars and stuff. And yeah, you'll have plastic guitars. You have big metal metal guitars that have cost an absolute fortune and whatnot. So. Microsoft now owns all of Activision Blizzard, uh, Blizzard, in Call of Blizzard, Blizzard, <laughs> Blizzard, including Call of Duty and Crash Bandicoot, which ironically is originally a Sony property. Um, uh, Spencer has plans to meet with Activision Blizzard teams to discuss what they're passionate about working on, um, which I hope is a good change because at the moment, when you you think I think of the Activision teams, I think of them being just making Call of Duty. <laughs> It's just make Call of Duty constantly. Yeah, and, exciting. And with I a guy at the end of a corridor with a whip. Yeah, yeah. Call and, of Duty. And, and, <laughs> and I'm hoping that, that he'll talk to these guys and we might get some new franchises. Something new, something exciting for us to play, yeah? Um, or maybe so the return of things like Soldier of Fortune. Did you ever play Soldier of Fortune on the PC? No, I don't think so. It was it was a great game because when you shot people in certain body parts, um, they'd like clutch their leg. Or if oh. you blow their le- if you you could blow the uh, the shin out of the leg, and you see them hopping around, go ah! There's a great bit where you have a train a train thing, and you shoot a helicopter, and the helicopter just like raspberry jam all over the insides. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so I think what he's going to do is, if he's wise, he'll look at the fr- he'll look at his franchises and stuff, and work out which ones can be brought back. Activision, uh, between Activision and Rock Band, who are the original people who made Guitar Hero, from my understanding, um, they pretty much oversaturated the market mm. with, um, what do you call it, uh, plastic guitars and drum kits and that. And you know, because we spent time playing plastic guitars and drum kits and singing quite drunk over friends' houses. Yes. Um, but Actually, it, it, look, they're a great party game. Yes, especially when you one if the... you don't want to go out, then you want to do something with your mates. Then you can do that. You get them over, okay. almost karaoke, but not. Hmm. We used to actually um, before going out. This is pre getting married. Um, before going out, we'd meet up at a friend's house who lived not far from town. We'd all be having a drink with whatever console they've got with rock band. One of them be on the drums, one of them be playing the guitar, and the other with a, a mic. And it was a good laugh. I, Every time you fuck up, you took a drink. Ah, oh, dude, I just remember Christmas. Yeah. You remember Christmas? Great party, yeah. great party games, fun for the family. Yeah, I like that. And the, the PlayLink games are also really good at Christmas, too. Fantastic. Absolutely. But, but I'm hoping that. I think we're gonna get. I do think we're gonna get Rock Band or of Guitar Hero back. Um, I think it will be if they do it right. It'll be like every two years. I think. I think they'll look at that and go. That's a. That's a, if we do it right, it's a money spinner. And it's been away from long enough for everyone yeah. to get over the the saturation that happened. So I. 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 If, I want to. I want to put money down, but then I won't take it in my bets. Um, so it's. It's interesting. I think. I think that we're gonna. Um, we're going to see some of these games come back and we're going to maybe hopefully have some of the good ones and hopefully get some new franchises. I'm sure that those people who just do Call of Duty are desperate to to get away from Call of Duty and just do some anything, anything else. They've probably um, had ideas that Bobby or whoever's gone, nah, no. Call of Duty, money. 
and so they haven't been able to make what they want to make. So let's hope it brings out some creative muses. Yeah. Uh, while the act, uh, while Xbox Activision Blizzard merger has us all buzz, it's cl- all a buzz. It's clear that uh, Phil Spencer wants to approach uh, the revival of classic franchise with genuine care and passion. That's, that's one thing I did like about Phil Spencer. He does seem genuine in comparison to someone like Don Matrick, who was run it beforehand. Mm. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we see some of our old favourite games as they get a comeback that they deserve. We'll keep an eye on this, because I reckon Guitar Hero's coming back, baby. And with that, next story. (laughs) 